Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be learning everything that you need to know about DIY lash extensions. But this is an updated version with a bunch of the products that I've been loving recently and that I've been using the past couple months. If you haven't already, you can watch my first one. It goes into depth a little more. But if you want to learn how I got this cat eye DIY lash extension look, keep watching and prepare yourself for a jump scare. Boom. Okay, we're gonna get right into it. And first things first, you wanna make sure you have nothing on your eyes. No makeup, no oil, nothing. This will help with the retention. Before the lashes, you can decide on what you wanna use, whether that's pre-map lashes, strip lashes, or even lash sections or clusters. Some of my Amazon favorites are these Lawbest clusters. I've used a lot of them. <laughs> they literally come in a bunch of different styles. Always remember that you are your own lash tech and you are in full control, so you can come up with whatever lash map you want or whatever fits your eye the best. These can be clusters or sections like these, or you can even cut up strip lashes that you love. There's also pre-mapped options where they come packaged like this and they're already ready to be used. You just place them under. All in all, this is all personal preference. You have the freedom to do whatever you want. I'll put a bunch of screenshots and everything of different lash options but you can find a bunch of them in my Amazon storefront or just look at the links in my bio I have a bunch of different options there too but for today's lashes we're gonna be using these lavas clusters that I just got from Amazon and these are in 16 millimeters and 14 millimeters and then I think I'm gonna stack with these thinner lavas clusters to make it more wispy and more dramatic now that we have our lashes let's talk about glue or bond or adhesive whatever you want to call it so all of the glues that I use are meant for DIY lash extensions this means they are flexible they like move with your lashes but they are strong enough to hold a couple days depending on how you maintain it. Right now, one of my favorite glues is the Lilac Street Pro Lash Glue. I've been using this one for over a year now and it's never done me dirty. I've tried a bunch of other bonds too that are just as great, but I've just stuck with this because it's affordable. I've cried with them, I've accidentally got them wet, and it's always just been there for me. And there's so many other bonds that I also love. I just find this one convenient to use while being affordable. It's definitely a personal preference. I'll link other bonds that are similar and that I think are great as well. Okay, and lastly for tweezers, you can use any tweezers that you want. Literally anything will work. Sometimes I've even used my fingers, but to make your life easier, I recommend using some type of tweezer. They're also from Lilac Street. I just like how durable it is, and the tip is super precise. Just makes your life easier. Okay, for real now, we're gonna get into the lashes. First, we apply the bond. So we're just gonna tap this on the base of your lashes. My lashes are fairly short, so it doesn't really matter if it gets on the end, but if you have long lashes, um, the clusters are gonna stick to it and look super clumpy, and won't look that cute so just tap it a little definitely goes a long way and then i like to wait about 10 to 15 seconds for it to get tacky now we're gonna grab the lashes i do cat eye because i always do a cat eye i think it looks best on my eyes taking my 16 millimeters carefully remove it from the packaging and holds it at the very end to make application easier now we just lift up our lashes and it should stick right under. Another one. We're gonna do two 16s on the outer corner and the rest 14 millimeters. I swear by this method and I think that it just makes my life so much easier. I love that I don't have to wait in between lash fills. So I basically have a full set whenever I want. Make sure you're gently lifting up your eye. Always be gentle around your eyes, guys. Did you see how fast that was? If you feel like your lashes are ever too sticky or tacky, um, this is your time to go in with a seal, but we're gonna do it after I stack it. Okay, stacking. This part I love because this is where I get to customize my sets a little bit more, adding a little more drama and wispiness to my sets. You can stack with the same clusters that you just went in with. Today I'm gonna use these thinner lashes just to make it a bit more wispy. Since I did two 16s and three 14s, these thinner lashes, I'm gonna use 17 on the outer corner just to make it visible. You're gonna take the lash. Look how tiny. You take your glue. You're just going to apply the glue on top of the cluster, like the part that you're gonna be sticking onto your eye. Let it get a little tacky. And then we're just gonna repeat everything that we just did. Lift up your eye slightly and then place it under. I'm gonna do another one and basically just go down now with a 16. And I'm sticking this one on for there to be like spikes and have that wispy effect. I'm not gonna go directly next to it, but I'm just gonna leave some space in between place it there. I think I'm just gonna stack one more and this is a 15 and I'm putting this one underneath the layer of the 14s. I feel like I'm speaking a different language <laughs> but look at how pretty that is. I think it just elevated the look. Now that we're stacked, pinch your lashes and then remember that seal I was talking about? Yeah, we're gonna put her on. This is Lilac Street's crystal coat and I just tap it on the base of my lashes to remove any stickiness. 
Okay, one eye is all done. I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then I'll be right back. Both eyes are now done. I'm obsessed with how these turned out. These can last three to 10 days. It just depends on how you maintain them. Remember that you still have to clean your lashes and what I like to do is just take a Q-tip, some micellar water, pretend this is a Q-tip. I don't feel like getting up and getting it, but you just rub it along the lash line, clean it up, get all that gunk out of there. Also helps with retention because you're cleaning up all the oils from your eyes as well. But let's talk about removal because it's just as important as applying it. My holy grail remover is the Lash Links Remover. This stuff literally feels so good on your eyes and it just makes the lashes slide right off. I'll insert a video on what I'm talking about and how I do it, but basically drops them onto your clean fingers and then you rub it along your lash line until the bond or glue just breaks apart. Your lashes should slide right off. It's a safe removal. If you want to keep your natural lashes healthy, definitely get a remover like this that's oil-based. Anything oil-based will work. And as long as you're soaking it and safely removing them, then your lashes will be good. Okay, but I think this is the end of the video. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Maybe I can show you guys other lash maps that you can do. As far as the products, I'll make sure everything is linked down below or you can check out my bio for all of the links and codes to a bunch of products that I love. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps you out. And I hope that you love DIY lash extensions as much as I do. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. I'll see you guys soon.